so hello good afternoon good morning good evening my fellow creative designers and content creators welcome once again to another exciting episode on this channel and in today's episode we are going to design this beautiful church flyer i call it submit your prayer request yes submit your prayer request and this is what you are going to design so please if this seems to be interesting to you kindly stick around and let's walk through the step-by-step -step tutorials from beginning to the end and at the end of the tutorials i'm going to share with you the free psd file the 3d text effect and then a free mock-up of it as well for you so without wasting much time control n to open a new document and i'm going to set the size to 2000 by 2000 so here 2000 height 2000 width 2000 resolution 300 then i'll just write the name church flyer yes church flyer and everything is okay it's face for social media handles so everything is okay i'll click on create and then i have this nice background so i'll unlock this white layer which is layer zero i'll unlock it and then i'll go to this um this side create new fill or adjustment layer i'll just click here and then go to solid color control v i've copied the solid color code which is 46 024A46024A. So you can type it over there. Click on OK. And then let's go and work on backgrounds. Yes, let's go and work on background. I'll drag this background into Photoshop and then wait for it to load, guys. So now it's set ready. So I hold Alt and then scale this side to cover the screen. And then I hold Shift again to shift move here and to also move this side to hit the screen. Press Enter. And then that is it. I'll go to the branding option and set it to, I think, hard light is perfect. So click enter. And then again, I'll go to this resources file again. And then I'll check out this. Drag this in Photoshop and then Photoshop and release it like that perfectly. Perfect. So it sets. I'll click on OK again. Then hold Alt and then scale it up. Now it's covered perfectly. Press enter. All right. So I think um, we just delete this for the meantime. Yes, let's delete this for the meantime and then go and pick the next background which is this drag it and then release it in photoshop perfectly and then wait for it to load guys always wait for it to load so while it's loading please subscribe to this channel like share comment and let me know how this channel is helping you in any way so click on ok and then to accept the changes hold alt and then scale up perfectly like this and then press enter to accept the changes and then let's go to the blending option and set it to this yes soft light and this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome so all in a group control here and then call it background all right so our background is set nicely this has become our background and then we are going to bring the image uh, sorry the logo i'll drag it in photoshop and i just push it up like this and and this is awesome press enter to accept the changes and then the text is blue Falling on black, it's difficult to see. So let me pick the uh, uh, this uh, rectangular marking tool and then select only the text. Yes, Control J to duplicate it. Double click at the edge here and then go to color overlay and set here to color white. And this is awesome. This is awesome. This is awesome. This two in a group Control J and then call it what logo perfect now it's time to introduce the 3d text effect and don't for, don't forget i have written them here the 3d text effect here i'll give you everything so just check under the description for on this video and then to download all the 3d text effects so hold um alt and then scale it up nicely like this and then push it up this way and this is awesome press enter to accept the changes and this is perfect this is perfect this is perfect so without that i'll just go and then drag this red item here yes i'll drag it over there now it's ready scale it up and then you know how to scale already yes press enter t on the keyboard just t on the keyboard or come and hit this type to and then click here and then type the test submit submit your then press enter and we are going to use a font yes we are going to use a font not this font at all and i think we use this font yes anti-less font yes anti-less font then v on the keyboard and then push it 
on top of this right uh, select this and then scale it down this way and i think this is awesome just position it at the center yes position it at the center and this is awesome this is awesome so this and this in a group and then control j and then you can call it the theme yes this becomes the theme and our theme is ready let me bring our guide go to view go to guide and then go to new guide layout and set here to six set here to five this is okay for me control t and then i'll make sure everything is center aligned perfect 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 let me scale it up a bit and this is great this is great this is great so i'll just check it that way and then quickly i will just go to this side and then go and pick this drag it in photoshop and then release it again and wait for it to load so guys it's loading and it's downloading so click ok now hold alt to scale it up this way press enter and then blending option and set it to something nice something nice like this and i think this is awesome this is awesome or oh, let's check let's check more let's check more let's check more let's check more so let's check more maybe you can get or you may get something quite awesome than what we are picking yes and uh i think you're not getting any you're not getting any therefore we'll just pick this as that now hit at this click and then let me clear that side let me clear this side and make sure the text is popping just i just want the feel inside this i want the feel inside all right so man i think it's the feel i'm get, i want i'm not getting it so let me delete it and then go inside again then drag this and drop it inside this black um texture you are seeing scale it up and cover the entire screen now let me just good i think this is the texture i want this is the texture i want i just want to feel this texture yes i want to feel it inside yes now soft light is okay then let me hit on layer and then just let me clear the edge this way all right and this is awesome this is awesome i just let me just clear here and make sure that i'm getting this yes this is what i want and i'm getting it as i want it as well and i think this and this can still be in a group and call it what team yes because all this form part of the team all right so now everything is set and done so we left with the images and guys in case your image is different from mine i've already worked on the image so let's let me go to this side and then go and pick the image I'll drag the image nicely into it. So if your, your image is different from mine, just bring it there like this and then adjust it or position it well. Yes, let me just go and then reduce the size of this small so that I can position my image well. So let me push it up nicely like this. And then the image, I can position them well yes i can position the image well so if yours your image is quite different from mine just find a ways and means to arrange the images well then i'll go to this side and go and pick gradient overlay and then this color black is okay so i'll click inside the thumbnail pick b on the to, to select the brush tool and then let me just clear only their faces yes i want the beneath to be pure black as you are seeing but the faces to show yeah the face is now showing so everything is okay then i've already worked on the names yes i've already worked on the name so it's here i'll just select all yes i'll just select all and then match them like this so that i can push all ones push them and then release it nicely like this yes so that is it this is the names and it's awesome it's awesome it's awesome with the width let me teach you the width i use a font called taking by watches yes with i use a font called taking by watches and then the sorry and then the names the real names i use yes and the real names i use antilles antilles font so 
and you realize that it's still the same names. I didn't edit them. So yes, just for purpose of tutorials. And guys, in case yours is different from mine, just write the actual names or their real names over there. So this and that, I put them in a group. Sorry, let me just go and select the set, the first one, and then move and go and hold um, shift and select that one, the first one and the last one. So all is selected, Control G, and then call it what? Names and uh, images. All right, so it's set and done nicely like this. And then that is it. So then therefore, it left with what? The details, yes. The details, we have to bring them very, very interesting. The details include date, times, venue, location, plus other relevant information that the client requires you to put it over there so for the purpose of tutorial this is the details i am working or i am using so that is it and then i'll bring it down here control g and then i'll call it details so my details it's also set and done control a and then let me center it this way control d to deselect it and guys I think this is awesome. This is awesome. This is awesome. When we are done, we are not done yet. You can even add camera raw effects to it or whatever you want it to be. If this is also interesting or if this is okay for you, if it's not okay, control, uh, sorry, control, alt, shift, and then E to merge everything into one layer. Rasterize it, uh, right click, and then convert to smart object. Then go to what and um, view, sorry, filter and then go to where camera raw filter all right so the camera raw filter is ready and let's start playing with the details so i want the temperature i'll just push it this way and just boosting it if it's okay for you you stop over there so let me just boost this and see and i think this is okay for me and i want maybe contrast so let's see um i think this is okay i want highlight and then let's see highlight this is okay let me check black and guys i think with black this is also great oh uh, what do you think let's go here and see no i think black this is great yes this is great and then let's see texture i just push it to the side and if it's okay for you guys always if it's okay what it's okay for you might not be okay for me and what is okay for me might not be okay for you so just adjust it the way you want it yes just adjust it the way you want because your way of viewing things might or is always different from mine yes that is why a lot of people send c and c on the platform and i don't want to comment more yes i don't want to comment more because you are the first originator and whilst you are creating creating or designing that thing you have the vision the way you wanted to design it is in your own head in your own mind so you always come up with something great which is in your mind so most of the time i don't want to criticize and comment on people's design and guys if this is okay for you this is okay for you then let's check before and after let's check before so click here yes this cycle between before and after that is kill then you will like before and after and after look great before too is also great but the after look awesome than before so if it's okay click on okay and it will be applied on the whole design yes let's see it again i hide it and this is what i'm getting i bring it back and this is what i'm getting so this is okay this is okay so guys this is how we were able to achieve this awesome design in photoshop and don't forget the free psd file plus a mock-up is in the description for you to download everything for free and if you have nothing to do just cross check on our channel we have a lot of tutorials for you to learn from and then practice more i love you i'll see you in the next tutorial until then peace i'm out